大好き。So、work in that. <laughs> I'd call it grapevine, would you? I believe it's I guess willow. It is, eh? I believe it's willow. Willow? Okay. I don't know. I didn't know, I didn't know enough about it to ask. The only reason I'm saying that, my grandmother had a basket that she had got when she was probably sometime in her 20s. She traded 25 cents worth of cloth that would make a dress to a willow basket that a woman that named Ada Green used to be a washerwoman, and she made baskets, and she traded, and that was our egg basket when I was growing up, and it's that same thing, and she said it was a willow basket, and I took it to Scottsville to the basket makers catalog uh -huh. people, which they've retired now and sold out, and there's different people, and they documented it because they were doing willow classes. They had a guy to come from Germany and teach willow. And so I'm pretty sure that's willow, but it's very impressive. Was that passed down through your family? Yes. <clears throat> I, I borrowed this a while ago from the museum. Okay. Uh, and I have a note attached to it. John Baxton White, second son of Jack and Sally White, was born October the 7th, 1904. They moved from the creek in 1909 to the ridge. That's by the bud, yeah, Slick Rock community. While a small boy, he was placed on the back of a mule, given this basket with six dozen hen eggs and sent to Rossi's Grocery on Layshack Creek. He never broke an egg. Mm -hmm. Six dozen. So he went to the store. That was, they had to go down there to get their mail. That was a long way to use that there. Yes, it was. How long is it through there, John? Yeah, I, I was just thinking, I've never, it's not that far, no, but. Pretty, for a young boy to hold a basket full of six dozen eggs, that was a pretty good piece, though, on yeah. a horse's back, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's I, wonderful <coughs> history. Yeah.